In this problem, we want to evaluate each function to given value of the independent variable and simplify. So we got uh, f of x is equal to square root of x plus 3 minus 5. And part a, we want to find f of 6. Again, evaluating a function, we go through, and everywhere we have an x, we'll put in parentheses. So we've got uh, parentheses plus 3 minus 5. Now, whatever's inside the parentheses over here is automatically we're going to put in over here. So we'll put 6 in there. Well, 6 plus 3 gives us 9, so we've got square root of 9 minus 5. And um, 9 is 3 times 3. Now remember the square root, we're looking for a pair of somethings. Here's a pair of 3, so the pair of 3 is going to come out in front of the radical as a single 3. So we've got 3 minus 5, which gives us negative 2. Now B, we want to find F of 1. Again, we're going to go through our function. Everywhere we have an X, we'll put in parentheses. So we've got parentheses plus 3, and then minus 5. Whatever's inside of parentheses here is automatically we'll put in here. So put 1 in there. 1 plus 3 gives us 4, so we've got square root of 4 minus 5, and uh, 4 is 2 times 2, minus 5. Remember the square root, we're looking for a pair of something. So here's a pair of 2's, a pair of 2's going to come out in front as a single 2. So we've got 2 minus 5, which gives us negative 3. And C, we want to find f of x minus 3. Again, we're going to go through our function. Everywhere we have an x, we'll put in parentheses. So I've got parentheses plus 3 minus 5. Now whatever's inside of parentheses here is where we're going to plug in over here. So we'll put in x minus 3 there. Well, negative 3 plus 3 cancels. We've got square root of x minus 5. And that's our answer. I didn't circle negative 2, but that's our answer there.